right now we see really an uh, increased threat of nuclear weapons use. Uh, all nuclear armed states are currently upgrading, modernizing and renewing their arsenals. And just last week we saw the US launch their new nuclear posture review that lowers the threshold for using nuclear weapons, develops new types of more usable nuclear weapons. Uh, this threat is still here. ICANN is the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons. Uh, which brings together over 400 partners from 100 countries and over the years we have worked to highlight the humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons which are far greater than has previously been understood and on that basis uh, it is clear that nuclear weapons cannot be used in line with humanitarian law but it's also clear that if you try to have nuclear deterrence as, you, as we have in the uh, nine nuclear weapon states uh, there's just so many accidents involved that uh, nuclear weapons, it's a statistical fact that they will be used again and uh, will cause great humanitarian uh, harm. Well, we believe that we can no longer have a security defense system that relies on threatening to indiscriminately murder civilians. That's what nuclear weapons are and that's what they do if they were used. And we have to urgently do what we've done with other weapons of mass destruction, prohibit and eliminate them. And last year, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons was adopted. Um, and now we need to rally all the EU member states to sign and ratify this treaty. We want EU member states to, uh, that have not yet done so to sign and ratify this treaty. So Austria and Ireland have already signed, Sweden, Cyprus and Malta voted in favour. All the other EU member states, which except for Finland are all NATO members, need to actually negotiate and opt out from extended nuclear deterrence within NATO in order to be able to sign and ratify this treaty.